Now, you've talked about uh, President Trump and you've talked about supporting him, but I have to ask, if he were to drop out of the race for any reason, would you contemplate going back into the race? That's why I suspended. Yes. If he dropped out, then I, I think they need me. You know, I really do. I, you know, Trump is a businessman. He knows what it takes in order to run the country. And I would immediately jump in if something like that happened. But that's that's pretty much what it would take. Right now, I'm very confident that you have an extraordinary person running for the office of president. And let's face it, nobody has more experience. He was president for four years, did a heck of a job. So bottom line is, you have somebody running right now whom I know can just literally run circles around Joe Biden and will win the presidency. So right now, when you take a look at the numbers and you take a look at where we're at in, with Joe Biden compared to where we were with President Trump, the difference is night and day. And I think the people see that. Now, you've obviously spoken very highly of Donald Trump. Does this mean you are endorsing him or are you endorsing another candidate? Oh, another yeah. candidate? Absolutely. I endorsed Donald Trump. Uh, President Trump is, is really did an extraordinary job. I never said otherwise, even in my campaign. The one thing you'll find about me is I'm going to tell you the way it is. And if he had done a bad job, I would have told you. But I never, ever, even though I was campaigning against him, would say he did a bad job. And in fact, I think I had fire Biden shirts uh, because I thought that one of the worst presidents we've ever had is Biden. You take a look at the situation we're in, it's mind boggling. When you talk about a tax, is there any tax in the world that is worse than inflation on the middle class? What is worse? You take a look at a person in the middle class, middle America, they're making in the neighborhood of what? $80,000 a year for a family of four. I think the average was 75, four. And that's the median. And that was actually $1,200 less than it was the year before, despite the fact that we've had this extraordinary inflation. So families are making less money now than they were a year ago on an average. And despite that, we have to pay record amount for our food, for our housing, uh, just for energy. And what was it like under Trump? We've had the best of times. So you had particularly good times among the people that were making less money because their wages went up an astounding 16% under Trump. Now, you take a look at that and compare to what's happened to that rung of people, that whole group of people that we call middle America under Biden, they're much worse off. And they're primarily much worse off, not only because they're making less money than they were a year ago on an average, but on top of that, they have to pay a fortune for everything they buy. And food, housing, and energy are some of the biggest expenses. And when you look at food, energy, housing, and medical care, and then you have to pay, have a car payment on top of that, what do you have left? So I say things are not particularly great for middle America right now, and let's make them great. We can do that under President Trump. I think a lot of people would be concerned looking at 2020's results and asking how can Trump take on Biden again? What do you have to say to that? Well, I think they can see the comparison right now. Let's take a look at the results. Ask them. They can ask themselves, are they better off now than they were under President Trump? And the answer is a resounding no. Are we better off than we were under Trump? The answer is a resounding no. For the first time in my lifetime, I'm really concerned about the international situation. Never was there a risk of a serious war in all my lifetime, except now. I mean, the closest thing we ever had was the Bay of Pigs when we were actually confronted at a time when Khrushchev came in there with missiles over there to Cuba. And that was, that lasted for a fleeting 48 hours. Now we have a real serious problem. We've had this Ukraine war going on. Why is it such a disaster? Because of the way that we left Afghanistan. I mean, nobody could have had a worse job in withdrawing than Biden did. If he had engineered it, he couldn't have designed it as badly as he did. And yet we left $60 billion of equipment over there. What, are we going to just let them use that equipment? 
so that they can go and use the equipment in whatever war they want. Our relationship with Iran is a joke. Iran is helping to fund this war that's going on right now in the Middle East. Then we have the situation right now that's going on literally in Israel that's a disaster. And that doesn't even take into account the danger that we face with China and the possible invasion of Taiwan. And, and let's keep in mind, you have these three organizations kind of getting together and they kind of meet. Isn't it the meeting that we had with uh, the head of China and the head of Russia? And you have Putin saying that we have a long-term relationship with President Xi. I mean, this is just a very precarious situation and this would never happen under President Trump. 